To kick things off then, obviously we need a completely fresh Laravel project. If you are working on an existing project, don't worry, this is going to be very easy to integrate because we're not gonna be interfering with the normal authentication flow. So I'm currently in Homestead. I don't have a project installed, so I'm gonna use Composer to go ahead and just create a Laravel project in here. And I happen to just be calling this fresh. So we'll wait for this to finish and we'll get the rest of Laravel set up and then we can move on to create that all important new login view. Okay, so now that that's finished, let's open the project in our text editor. And we're gonna to start to do things like generate our authentication. We're gonna run our migrations. Now with our migrations, we don't need to modify the default migrations that come with Laravel. So we know that we have a users table and we have a password resets table. This pretty much will work in exactly the same way. Like I said before, we're not gonna be tinkering with anything to do with the normal auth flow. We're just gonna be kind of adding a new layer onto this and then falling back to the normal authentication flow if a user chooses uh, to go ahead and run this. So let's just run our migrations just before we do that, heading over and making sure our database settings are sorted. Uh, so in my case, I'm using Homestead and all I've done is just created a new database over here called Fresh and it's completely empty at the moment. So running our migrations, if we just CD into that directory first, and there we go. So next thing is generating our auth. So we just run PHP artisan make auth, and that is pretty much it. So heading over to the browser, give that a refresh, and we have our project set up. So we have our login route, we have our register route, and we can just go ahead and register as normal, and it will just work. So just to test this, I'm gonna go ahead and create an account anyway, because uh, we'll need that for later. And there we go, I am signed in, brilliant. So I'm going to sign out because what we want to do is rather than this linking through to this page, we want it to link through to something like login slash magic or whatever you want to call it. I happen to be calling it a magic link, but of course, feel free to call this whatever you want. So really what we want to do then is start to modify this. Now to change the link over, obviously we wanna come over to the app.blade.php file. Now this is found over in our templates if we just open this up, because we're gonna to need to create a new view. So it's under layouts and app. So when we click the login link just here, we want this to go through to login magic rather than the normal login flow. So hopefully this makes sense. We don't really kind of wanna modify this because really if you think about it, it's part of the normal Laravel authentication routes and we don't want to have to kind of pull these over and modify much we're just kind of putting this on top of uh, what we already have so obviously this page doesn't exist at the moment uh, but the only problem here is that we when we say access slash home which is a protected route uh, and if we just come over to our controllers we know that we have by default a home controller just here and this happens to be protected by auth middleware. So when we do go over to this, we're redirected over to forward slash login. So what we wanna do is change this so it redirects to login slash magic. Now this is slightly different in Laravel 5.3, which is the version we're using now. Uh, this is actually now under uh, our exceptions and handler. So basically down here, we have an unauthenticated uh, method just here and this will allow us to uh, forward to a particular page. Now in our case, it's login slash magic, and that's pretty much all we need to update, and that's uh, pretty much done. So now, when I go over to slash home, we're redirected over to login slash magic. So the user can click this link here. I think on the home page uh, with the welcome view, this probably won't be updated, so let's just quickly come over to that and update that as well. Of course, you'll probably be <laughs> replacing this with your own homepage, but uh, let's just update that to login slash magic, sorry. Okay, so we're all pretty much good to go. We can hit login and we come through to, uh, if we just refresh that, login slash magic. So the next step then is to create our magic login controller, which we're gonna put under auth, and of course set up our roots as well. So if we just come over to roots web, we're going to want to just create a basic route to go through to this page so we can render out our new view. So this is just gonna be login slash magic and the controller we're gonna create is inside of auth because obviously it is auth and we're gonna call this magic login controller and I'm just gonna say show like so. Okay, so now that we have this, let's generate this magic login controller from the command line. So php artisan make controller. 
we're going to stick this under auth so we can just do that and there we go so that is our controller generated so we obviously need that show method so let's just create this now and obviously this is just responsible for returning a view so if we return a view here we can just stick this in auth.magic.login and if we come down to here we already have an auth folder let's create a new one for our kind of magic login stuff so inside of here then login.blade.php and what we're going to do is steal the template from the normal login because it's pretty much going to be the same. So if we just paste this in, uh, we can start to change things around here. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of forgot your password because we don't really need that on a magic login uh, controller or view because the user doesn't need their password. Uh, and obviously we're going to get rid of the password field as well. So let's just take a look at this just so we can see what it's about. And it looks like that's not working. And I've called this logic for some unknown reason. There we go. So we've got an email address, which we obviously need. We have remember me, which we also need. Uh, but the login button isn't going to say login because obviously what we're not doing is instantly logging the user in. So instead, what we're going to do is modify this just to say send magic link. But what we kind of also want to do is down here, create an anchor, which allows the user to log in with their password instead. Now, this is entirely optional. You don't have to do this. But asking around generally, I found that people do actually want the option to log in with a password as well. So we're going to say login with password instead. And we're just going to do a right arrow in there. And for the class for this, we're just going to set this to a button and a button link. And then for the href, this is just going to go through to the normal login page. So we can just use the URL helper to generate the full path and just say forward slash login. So now we should see the following. Brilliant. So we can log in with a password instead if we prefer, or we can just enter our email address, hit send magic link, and that will email the link off to us. So pretty straightforward stuff. Now we also need to consider validation because I copied this over from the standard login page. We already have all of our validation stuff in here. So really we just need to handle that over on our controller when we actually go ahead and submit this through. So the last thing I just want to do is just update the login.blade.php that we've just created to just go through to login slash magic. And of course, what we'll be doing in the next part is creating our post route, which will allow us to request a magic login link.